Hey everybody, Jim Powers with MaryvilleSaints.com and Saints Vision as we once again catch up with some of our outstanding student athletes and basketball is right around the corner and we are so excited about that and we're going to take this week to spotlight our women's basketball team and one of our outstanding uh, players, Jada Jansen. And Jada, first off, thanks for the time. How's everything going? Everybody healthy and all that kind of great stuff? Yeah, we're actually doing really good at this point in the season. We're just excited to get back playing as of right now. You know, let, let's wind the clock back a little bit to March when everything kind of right after the season was over with, you know, everything hit and you guys had to learn virtually and kind of pivot and different things along those lines. Um, you know, one of the things that I've heard from a lot of our student athletes is how well they were prepared for something like this, you know, with how the university has done their different things and along those lines. And it showed in our GPAs for all of our student athletes. You know, how did that go for you when the pivot came to having to, you know, uh, shelter in place and do all of your studies virtually? So yeah, transitioning to virtual classes, it was challenging at first just to get into a routine, but our professors really made it easy. They adjusted our syllabus and they were really there for any resources we needed. So all we had to do was show up and still put forth the effort like we usually do when we're on ground. And I think it really show, it did show in our GPAs and our team really locked in. And I think that's what the virtual learning did. It kind of forced us to lock in a little bit more. And that really reflected in our team's GPA. You know, the one word that a lot of our student athletes have said is discipline. You had to, you know, we're disciplined yep. anyway, but now in, in this day and age, you guys had to be even more disciplined than what you normally yep. were. Yep. And that's, that's for sure. And I think it was just another test of what we can accomplish when we really put our minds to it and we keep our discipline into other areas of our lives. So it was, it was a good test and I think we did really well. No doubt about it. So over the summer, obviously things were still going on and all that. What were you able to do to, you know, stay in shape and train and do, you know, basketball is a little bit easier because you can go out in the driveway and do ball handling and things along those yeah. lines. But what were you able to do to kind of keep your game where you want it to be leading into this year? So when quarantine first happened, everything was closed. So driveway basketball was the new thing. Like you can invite friends over from all over the neighborhood and people wanted to get out. So you could really hoop with anyone in any driveway at any park. But after we got a couple months into quarantine, um, I have a gym like three minutes away from my house and my brother owns a gym five, 10 minutes away. So I did a lot of lifting and boxing and whatnot with him just to keep my cardio up. And then at the gym down the road from my house, that's when I could get more shots up. But if all else failed, you really had the driveway. And I think the driveway was a pretty uh, safe, play, safe place to be since we were outside. So you could get competitive there too. There was no proctoring or legality there. It was the driveway, so. Oh, no, no doubt. And as a former basketball coach and loving the game of basketball, I, I remember some of my most fun times were in the driveway. And you know, being able to do different things. And, and I'm sure it's almost like going back to old school, so to say, for, you know, for, for you guys that, that, you know, are younger, you know, goes back to where, when I was younger, you know, it was all about the driveway in the summer. It was all about the, you know, the beat up, you know, beat up basketball and the, and the beat up hoops and the backboards and all that kind of stuff. And, and I think that comes back to a little bit more of the love of the game, because, you know, sometimes you, you have to, go back to the roots of the game before you can really appreciate what we all have when we get in the Simon Center and different things along those lines. No, I totally agree. I think playing uh, on the court outside really helps build your character and it makes you, forces you to go back to like the bread and butter of your game and see like where your fundamentals are truly at. So I agree. I think it's a great place to get back and fall back in love with the game and the grind. A lot of games of horse and a lot of games of pig weren't there. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> and I try to figure out all those trick shots and all that stuff. So yep. let's take what you were able to do in the summertime. Now we're back, able to get practices in, able to do different things. How have you been able to transition, you know, from, you know, getting back out, getting back to the roots of the game and now back in the gym where you got the gun, where you've got the, you know, you've got everybody around that's able to, you know, help you in different things along those lines. 
Yeah, um, for sure. All the resources here are just unbelievable. And there's really no excuse for us not to be in the best basketball shape or shooting shape we can ever be in. But I definitely came in like I wasn't expecting to be at my normal self. Obviously, I was expecting to be resting as a team. We obviously haven't seen each other. We haven't played together. So our chemistry isn't there yet. But I think everyone was just itching to play so bad and just to play against other people and to be like an actual gym surrounded by other people. So our energy has been great. And I think that's really what's carried us throughout these first couple of weeks of practice. You know, and, and the protocols as well. And I know we've done a great job in, in establishing protocols to keep everybody safe and, you know, those types of things. And I know for practices, you guys have been following a lot of those same protocols. How has that gone for everybody? kind of in this new normal that we're in right now? It's, it's really just another learning curve. And we've already experienced it last semester when once we went virtual. So I think everyone's in the right headspace right now to where they're like, throw, throw something else at us. Like we, we've done this before. So I think everyone's just really ready. They're really just itching to, like, itching just to learn as much as they can and play and just really develop our skills and get back into the flow of things. So. The protocols in place, like we, we follow them and they make sense, but like we don't we don't let it affect us otherwise. And, you know, you as one of the leaders of this team, obviously a lot of, you know, new players coming in. How have they meshed in with the veterans of this club and different things along those lines? I know some of the freshmen that are coming in because I've had a chance to watch them play, you know, their high school ball. Uh, but how have they meshed in with the veterans and how have you as one of those upperclassmen, you know, kind of taking that leadership role. Yeah, for sure. So our freshmen, we they've gotten a lot thrown at them. And especially with the circumstances now, it's definitely been, especially when you're a freshman, you're already trying to keep up with your schoolwork and your classwork and your friends and then learning everything that we do in basketball. This other learning curve is really tough for them, but that's where our upperclassmen, I think, come in because we've really taken them under our wing and saying like, hey, like, I know this is tough. I know this isn't normal. In normal circumstances, we would have been playing open gyms. Like, you wouldn't have a better feel for the game by now. But we're really just trying to, like, encourage them. Like, hey, you're here for a reason. You got this, despite the circumstances. And I think they've really meshed well with us. I think um, the newcomers, they're, they're really willing to learn right now. And they really want someone to guide them because of the situation. And I think our upperclassmen have done a great job of that. And that's the one thing, too, is, you know, when you were a freshman, you know, you, you kind of had that, that, that time to kind of mesh in and do yep. some different things along those lines. These guys mm -hmm. need more yeah. in order to take care of their business. And, you know, it's not the typical freshman year that you and some of the others have had. Yeah, for sure. And, and yeah, that's definitely, that's definitely true. And, I, and I'm just really proud of how they have adjusted to us. To this situation so far so they're not holding back at all and I'm really I'm really proud of them for that how excited are you guys to finally play against somebody else uh, uh, you know a couple weeks away and I I know the smile on your face and everybody I've talked to around you know the the, the office and all that I know you guys are excited to get this thing going in a couple weeks oh we itching to play like it's almost like a desperation to play someone else there to get out of our like little bubble of practice. Uh, everyone's excited, the energy's good, the energy's there, uh, we're, we're good to go. Like, we need to play tomorrow, we're good to go. We are so ready to play. You know, the one thing I'm gonna ask you, and, and me and uh, Coach Lanham talked about this in our interview you know, the other day, no mm -hmm. fans in the stands. You know, it's gonna be weird for everybody to get started, and he made a great comment. He said, you know, at practices, we're telling our players that this is what games are going to be like. You're not going to have the cheerleaders. You're not going to have the band and fans and different things along those lines. So how are you guys kind of approaching it as a team in creating your own excitement, so to say, you know, leading up to game day? Yeah, for sure. Um, in practice, we really just keep talking about creating our own energy, especially like during the low moments in practice where we're learning and putting in new offense or defense or whatnot we really have just concentrated and being like, hey, we, we need to be able to hone in and look, focus and learn, but we also need to be able to flip the switch when it's time for the energy to get back. 
because that's exactly what it's going to be with no fans. So we really have to stay, like keep each other up and stay talking. And that's what we've really been practicing uh, throughout our uh, workouts. And I think we've done a good job. And I feel like, especially for the first couple of games, the energy will definitely be there. I'm not worried about it. It's a problem, but it's over the course of the season is sustaining that. And so that will be a challenge, but I think we're up for it. Awesome stuff, Jada. Well, I appreciate the time and you know me, I'm as excited as you guys are to get out on the court here in a couple of weeks and, you know, see you guys perform and get some semblance of normalcy, so to say, but we're excited about the season starting and excited to see what the women's basketball team is going to be all, all, be all about this year. So thanks so much for the time. Thank you so much. Jada Jansen joins us as one of our outstanding student athletes on the women's basketball team. They start their season in a couple of weeks against Missouri s &T. Once again, no fans are going to be allowed at the beginning of the season, but we'll have all the coverage for you on our streaming site, on the GLBC Sports Network, on Saints Vision, and we're really, really excited about that. And it's going to be a lot of fun seeing our basketball teams get out on the court and get after it a little bit. For Jade, I'm Jim Powers. Thanks so much for tuning in to MaryvilleSaints.com and Saints Vision. Have a great week, and as always, go Saints!